Surah 58, verse 22 of the Quran, asserts that no believer can have affection for family members who oppose Islam. I have long been aware of this anti-family passage, but a few months ago, a hidden context was illuminated by a great YouTuber called The Masked Arab, who gives in-depth Islamic scriptural context and references on a range of subjects. He cited the work of Ibn Kathir, described as a highly respected and influential Islamic scholar and an expert on tafsir, an Arabic word meaning exegesis or interpretation. The master Arab noted that, in explaining the context of this Quran verse, Kathir mentions an assortment of relatives, friends and special representatives of the central Islamic prophet Muhammad, who each killed or intended to kill non-believing family members, including fathers, sons, brothers or other relatives, and were praised for doing so. Hidden contexts don't always have a redeeming nature. They can sometimes reveal unexpected depths of depravity. Self-styled prophets take on a superhuman burden. The words of those who claim to speak for all-knowing beings must reflect that timeless wisdom. Unjust religious laws are often defended with the claim that humans just aren't intelligent enough to see the perfect divine plan behind them. But the perfect divine plan argument could be used to justify any conceivable act.